Click on this with your hosts, Crystal Milana and Sabrina Taylor Smith, and produced by Capri Productions. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Click on This. We are here at the Landmark Theater at Harbor East for the premiere of Baltimore's very own indie film, Respire. Ooh, is that a horror film? I love horror films. Yeah, and you know what's awesome about this one? It's filmed in Hampstead, Maryland, which is truly a treat to us. Awesome, well let's tell them about the film. Ancient Romans believed that a person's last breath held the power to eternal life. So, in the 1930s, a scientist named Dr. Randolph Kaminsky discovered a way to harness this power. And in his scientific research, he ended up being murdered and it never was revealed. Flash forward till today, local novelty shop owner Susan discovers she's dying of terminal cancer. And she decides to hold on to this antique box because two random people display an ungodly amount of interest in it. And it turns out that this box holds the secret to eternal life. Brad, Respire, what was it like working on this show? It was exciting. It was uh, absolutely uh, well, like a well-oiled machine, and uh, I would definitely do it again. And how do you how do you feel about the overall product? I and mean, we saw the film earlier. We were in love with it. What about you? I am too. I think uh, again for the uh, budget that it was made on and uh, some of the uh, talent that we were able to get. Uh, names or no names, I think this film's going to go far. Well, I heard this is your uh, first. This is your first production. Wow, so this is a, must be a big feat for you. Yes, absolutely. It's what I've always wanted to do. You know what? I honestly thought that you were going to be like the bad guy, but you turned out to be the good guy. That's where uh, Dave, David A. Cross, the director, wanted to go with it. He was like, we definitely want everyone to think that you're the bad guy and that you can't be trusted. And then when we flip it on them, you know, everyone's very surprised. Um, was it difficult, like, having matching up the actors' re recorded lines with the takes on the film? Uh, that is. That's that's actually a pretty difficult thing. You, know, you have to sort of get them back in the character mode, get them back into what it was like being on set. Talk, you know, talk about the story and the concept and everything, uh, and uh, and get them to react basically with just a microphone and, and looking at a, a, a monitor. Are you guys going to premiere anywhere else? Are you going to see it anywhere else? Well, hopefully in London. I'm trying to get them to come to London with it. Yeah. That'd be great. So, what did you think of the film overall? It was great. It was a lot of fun. I screamed about three times during it. You would think, being behind the scenes, you would understand all the scary elements and not um, you know not be afraid from the other side but definitely it was a real thriller so it's a lot of fun and how was working with the cast and crew everyone was so great Dave Cross is a really wonderful director and just a really great person in general so um, I had a lot of fun with the cast and crew everyone was laid back but very professional at the same time so really good environment so Tracy what was it like working on this film um, I can't think of something better to do. I can't think of anything that's more fun. I was just telling my friend that a bad day filming and being in a creative environment is better than a really great day in an office. Seriously. Yeah, you were amazing. Did you have any difficulty yeah. connecting with your character? No, she's she's pretty pitiful in the beginning, isn't she? <laughs> Actually, I thought she was pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I didn't have difficulty. I mean, there's something like me in her, I think, uh, minus the violent stuff.